Hello, hello, Cancer. What's going on, Cancer? This reading will be for January 24th to the 31st, 2022. This is not going to resonate with all Cancers, so please do not get mad if it's not your story. This is going to be for the Sun, the Moon, Rise, Venus, and Jupiter. Spirit of the Earth, Water, Fire, and Air. What do Cancers need to know? January 24th through the 31st, 2022. What do Cancers need to know? Spirit with truth and clarity. Dreams of abundance. Spirit said, as you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and resolution. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your dreams, your desire into reality. So some of you guys need to write down what you're dreaming about. Yes, it dreams of abundance. What else are cancers? Do the work. Spirit said, do the work. It's not enough to dream or pray. You also got to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a, a, a lush flower garden. Spirit said, but you still got to do the work. What else for cancers? Oh, mm, bountiful nature. Spending time in nature help you shift you into higher vibration. Reminds you that God's infinite, infinite abundance. Go outside, enjoy, and walk, hike with your pet. Meditate beneath a tree. Garden, sit under the stars. Do some other activity to connect with your limited wasteness. Connect with your limitless, limitless wasteness. Hmm. Bottom of the day, it said God is your source. Everything you need to supply is the source of God and faith. Open your doorway to receive in God. There's no lack or limitation, whether there are plentiful abundance for all to share. God is your source. All right, Spirit, what else the cancer need to know? What else the cancer need to know for that higher, higher good spirit? What the cancer need to know? January 24th, June the 31st. Hmm. Let's see what's going on. Let's get to the nitty gritty on things. Hmm. Spirit. Tell me. What do counselors need to know right now? What do counselors need to know right now? With truth and clarity. Hmm. Ace of Pentacles. New project, new job, new home, or new lottery winnings. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, baby. Happiness, foundation, beginning of a job or business. What else, Spirit? This is something you're going to get some kind of clarity about this. You're about to get some kind of clarity about this. Things going to happen fast. Things going to happen fast. You might have to move. You might have to travel. I see things coming in fast. I see a lot of communications coming in about this. New project, new job, new home, new lot of winners. Because some of you guys have been feeling left out in the cold, feeling all alone. Because of someone that you wanted to take things to the next level with. This is someone from your past or past life. That's what you got to worry about. You about to get some income and some, some, some kind of clarity about a, a new job, a new home, a new business, a new foundation, new happiness. You about to get some clarity about this. Mm -hmm. What else does counsel need to know, Spirit, with truth and clarity? Mm. Someone that walked away is in reverse. That person want to come back. Someone that walked away from you, now this person want to come back to you. You got the Ace of Cups. Eight of Cups in reverse. That person want to come back. Or be a Pisces or somebody's in this energy. This person is looking back at you. This is when you could have some kind of conflict with this person. Or some words with this person. This is one we're acting selfish. This is one that you, you felt de defeated by this person. This person had a big ego. 
Little bit of Aquarius? Hmm. It's in reverse. This is the one that wants to run the show no more. Huh? This person could have lost their job. That person could have lost their business. Good emperor in reverse. Tell me more about this spirit. Tell me more about this emperor. This is one that wasn't assisting you. You was in conflict with this person. Now this person want to come back. This person is coming back wanting to apologize to you. This is one that wants this love and happy family with you. This person is perfecting their skills before they come back to you. This is one that wants to move forward with you. This person, the person see you as someone loving and caring and giving. This person will still be in love with you. This person has been enlightened about you. This person wants to send you a message, an unexpected message. This person wants to give you a gift. Hmm. This is one coming in with love, offer, or a proposal. This, this is someone who wants to take this leap of faith with you. All right, let's get to the nitty gritty. I don't heard enough. Somebody walked away from you. Spirit, that person that walked away. I want to talk to that person that walked away from cancer. Now wanted to come back to cancer. I want to talk to this person. That person that's on cancer mind. I want to talk to this person. Why do you want to come back right now? So me cause I need to see and speak. Why do you want to come back to cancer right now? Because of money? <laughs> you want to come back to cancer because of money? Or, or because you're still holding on to cancer, but you're not showing them any emotions. You're still holding on to them, but you don't want them to know that you're very emotional about them. Could be a Capricorn, a Scorpio, or Libra. They don't want you to know that they're still holding on to you. Why are you still holding on to cancers? Why are you still trying to hold on to cancers? Show me the I need to see and speak. Because they didn't get this victory with you. They didn't get this victory with you. Because you could have cut them out of their life or they could have cut you out of their life. They didn't get this victory. Because of a Leo or someone they try to be patient with. They still hold on to you, but they don't want you to know that they still hold on to you. This person did not get this victory. With someone, okay, the person did not get this victory. With someone that could have cut them out of their life, could have been a Leo. They didn't get that victory with this other person. Or are you coming back to apologize to Kansas? Or are you coming back to apologize to Kansas? Show me cause I need to see and speak. With truth and clarity, are you coming back to apologize? To cancers. Show me the cards I need to see and speak. <laughs> it says five of cups. It says no. Because you're feeling sad because of loss of a relationship with someone that was in a family with. Thanks, Spirit. It says no. They're not going to apologize to you because they're still sad because of lost relationship with someone that was in a family with. If you're still feeling sad about someone, that, you want that to change. Hmm. If you're feeling sad about an ex, why do you want to come back to cancer right now? If you're feeling so sad about this ex, why do you want to come back to cancer right now with truth and clarity? Because you're planning what you're planning. Oh, you plan on closing out a cycle with who? Who you trying to close out this cycle with? You plan on closing out a cycle or you plan on moving or traveling? You planning on closing out a cycle with someone that had you in a third party. You could be talking to your family, friends, or co-workers about this. Hmm. 
Why? If you if you gonna come back to cancer, but you you still sad about an ex? How that look? That's the, that don't look right. If you want to come back to cancer, but still sad about an ex, that do not look right. They say they feel very burdened because of someone of missed opportunity. Because of, they feel very burdened because of missed opportunity. They feel very sad. They're feeling very regretful. They're trying to heal. A devil in reverse. A narcissist. <laughs> they feel very burdened. And burnt out. They had enough. They feel, oh, they, okay, they feel very burdened by someone that saw them as a missed opportunity. They feel very regretful, feeling sorry. They try to heal for someone very, very toxic with a narcissist. The person that you're thinking about, that person was dealing with a narcissist. You got the devil in reverse. A very bad narcissist at that. So you want to come back so the cancers can help you heal. You coming back to cancer so the cancer can help you heal. Show me cards I need to see and speak. It says yes, they're coming back to commit to you. It's taking them a long time. Could be a Virgo or a, a Leo or somebody's in this energy. They're coming back to commit to you. Because they've been acting childish. Because they were trying to hide things from you, keeping things a secret. Because of someone betraying you and stress you out. Okay, I'm getting it. Okay, Cancer, this person is coming back to you. But when this person comes back to you, you're going to think this person is going to act very childish. Because the reason why they're going to be acting like that, because they're trying to hide the fact that they're they are hurting. Because of someone betraying them real bad and they're not sleeping at night time. So, you, yeah, they're going to try to play it off. This person coming back to you, the person going to play it off that they're still hurting. Because of someone to hold it or holding themselves back from them and end things with them. They're going to try to play it off when they come back to you. They want to commit to you, but you're going to see them as somebody acting child. They're trying to cover up the fact that they're still hurting because they were dealing with a narcissist. This is the one that wants to come back. This is the one that up and down with you. This person want to see your message. One day they do, then one day they don't. Reason why they up and down because of this other person, this Queen of Pentacles, this narcissist. The person we're dealing with a narcissist, this Queen of Pentacles. That's why the person been up and down. This is the one that wanted to message you, but they scared. Somebody scared of, of this uh this Queen of Pentacles, this narcissist. That person scared of this narcissist. Spirit, I want to talk to this narcissist. I want to talk to this narcissist. Can I please talk to this narcissist? Why? Why are you doing this to this ex or to your, this, this person that you're trying to hurt? Why are you doing this to this person? Show me cards I need to see and speak. Why are you doing this? Because they said they're the empress or they could be pregnant. <laughs> this person could be pregnant. They're doing it because they, they said they're the empress. They're doing it because they said they could be pregnant. Tell me more about this empress. Spirit, tell me more about this empress. Cause you like that this person like their sex? You want to start a new passion store with them? Cause you like their sex? And they don't want a reunion with you. Okay. They don't want a reunion with you. And you want to talk to them. You want them to take action on you. You want to start a new passion store with them with them, but they don't want this reunion with you. You want to talk to them. You want to take action on them. And you want them to fight for a relationship with you so that you can be happy. Huh? That's what the narcissists do. Huh? 
to that person, a narcissist, a narcissist want to be happy. Your personal want to union reunion with them. They want to talk. They want that person fight for them so they can, so they can be happy. Spirit, I want to talk to Kansas, the, the one that on Kansas' mind. Are you coming back as a legit person? Are you coming back legit? Show me across I need to see and speak. They're very indecisive. They are very indecisive about this. Because of conflict, because of conflict. You very you have you very indecisive about cancer? Why are you so indecisive about cancer? Could you start talking to someone new? You're very indecisive because you're someone that you pour all your loving out to. Is someone that you're married to or someone that you have kids with. That's why you're very indecisive about cancer. Tell me more about this Ace of Cup. You want to start something new with someone you're married to or committed to. Because you see this person as your twin flame. You want to equal give and take with this person. This is one that could have broke your heart. They end up, they they're gonna be very indecisive about you because they still they still want to pour all their loving out to this other person, this Queen of Pentacles, male or female. Mm, are you scared of this Queen of Pentacles? Are you frightened of this Queen of Pentacles? Show me cards I need to see and speak. Are you frightened of this Queen of Pentacles? Show me cards that ooh. It says no. They had a tower. They just flew out. Tell me more about this. They think about this. They think about this person a lot. They see this person as someone who met that better to go in line. This is when they see a future with. This is when they see they they see this person as they wish fulfillment. But they see this person right now unattainable, or this is the one they try to hide from you. This is the one they balance they, they want to balance things off this person, but there's a lot of drama. There's a lot of conflict between those two. This is the one they wanted to move to come waters with this person. They see this person as an ideal partner, but this person is trying to manipulate them, of course, like a narcissist would. <clears throat> And you see this person as someone very deceitful. <clears throat> okay. What do you want with cancers? What do you want with cancers? Show me cards I need to see and speak. What do you want with cancers? With truth and clarity. What do you want? What do you want with cancers? They see you as someone very attractive, Cancer. This person likes everything about you. You like animals. You're very secretive. You, spirit, you, your spirit, you have a spirituality. That person likes that about you. They like the way you look, the, how you look, how you carry yourself. And they love the attention that you give them. And they got the queen and the, the queen and the king of wands. That person see that being with you, they will have a lot of fun. You got the king and the queen of wands here. This person feel like being with you or hanging out with you, it would be a lot of fun between you two. They just looking for the action. This is someone that will be in and out of your life. Or this one that wants to travel to come see you. Or this person will be in and out of your life because of someone they see as their soulmate that took a break from them. So... I wouldn't put too much into this cancer. This person that see you as someone that come in and they're going to come and have fun with you, then they're going to leave. So don't put hard in it. <laughs> this for some of you guys. That person feel like if they get together with you, it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of action. Did that person leave because of someone they see that so many that took a break from them? <laughs> what 
What if cancer don't want this little action, this little fun time with you? What if cancer do not want you anymore? You're married. And change. You will marry them and then change on them? And ghost them? Feel your repercussions of your action. Because you, you will feel your repercussions of your actions because of someone that watches you. You'll make a decision. You have to make a decision. If you don't want this person attention, Cancer, I would see somebody coming in and want to marry you. Somebody going to come in and wants to marry you. It'll be a Sagittarius or Aries or a, a Virgo. But this person would leave. This person would ghost you. And Spirit try to warn you, protect yourself. Don't trust this person. So this is someone gonna get their karma. Mmm. This is getting a little deep here, Kansas. This person will marry you. This is someone that will come in. If you don't want to have no fun with them, they will come in and try to marry you and then leave because of someone they see as they soulmate. Oh goodness. Are you willing to get a divorce? Oh. Where are you willing to get a divorce for Kansas? Show me cards. Are you will you get a divorce so that you can marry Kansas? Show me cards. I need to see and speak. Will you get a divorce so that you can marry Kansas with truth and clarity, Spirit? I want to talk to this person that's on Cancer Mind. Will you get a divorce? Show me cards. I need to see and speak. <laughs> they feel very burdened right now. It's that Ten of Pentacles. It says you get. No, that's Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. Let's see. Ten of Wands. It says no. Ten of Wands is no. But you feel very burdened right now. You feel very burnt out. Hmm. You feel very burnt and burnt out. Because of difficulties, you feel like money's coming in and money's coming out. You try to balance your, your life. You're very indecisive right now. If you want to talk to, if you want to take action or you want to talk to cancers because of this soulmate. So you, you feel like your life is difficult. You have a problem with money. Money coming in, money coming out. You're indecisive about talking to Kansas right now because of this soulmate. I thought you wanted to marry Kansas. Do you want to marry Kansas? Show me cards I need to see and speak. Do you want to marry Kansas? Show me cards I need to see and speak. Is it? Yeah, they want to come back to you. Eight of Cups. Oh, I said eight of cups is no. Because you're already in love and happy family. Hmm. That you're trying to make a decision, work on things. This is the one you want to take that leap to faith with this person. Could be a little with a Leo. You've been talking to your family, friends, co-workers about this. You want to go back in and sweep this person off your feet because they're feeling sad. guys it's for some of you guys are you coming in to ask cancer to marry you 
Or are you coming back to ask cancer to marry you just to be playing with their emotions? Show me cards I need to see and speak. Or are you coming back just to be messing around with cancers and asking them to marry you? It says yes. They're going to ask you that they want a long-term commitment with you. They have happy memories of you. They see you as someone nurturing and caring and giving. Then they're going to hold back and end things with you. Mm, 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 mm. Some of you guys need to be very, very careful. You're going to hold back. You want to tell them that you're going to start a long-term commitment with you. And say, you know, because you have happy memories of you. You see cancers of someone nurturing, caring, and giving. You're going to hold back and end things with you. Why, why, why do this to cancer? Why do this? Why tell cancer that you want to marry them and then hold back? Why? Why would you do that? Because they close out this cycle with you? Because they close out this cycle with you, or you could have closed out this cycle with them. They were too in and out for you, and you feel like cancer was acting too childish. You wanted attention from cancers. You will, you will close out this cycle. Be in and out of cancer life, and act, and will act childish because the cancer act childish. You wanted attention from cancers, but you're married. To someone that betrayed him. So you angry with cancers? Are you angry with cancers? Show me cause I need to see and speak. Are you angry with cancers? It says yes. They're angry with you. Because they want, they want, they want to have a sexual encounter with you. They, they love your sex. They angry with you. Why are you so angry with cancer? Why? Because you're doing pretty good for yourself, cancer. And you end things with them, or they could end things with you. And they want you to apologize to them, or they want to apologize to you because of this empress, or they want you to apologize. Shots with them because you are this empress. You see, do you see them as someone or uh, ideal partner, but you don't trust cancer? This somebody love having sex with you guys. This person think about the sexual part of this relationship with you. They see you as someone doing pretty good for yourself. You could end things with them. They wanted you to apologize, or that person could end things with you. Mmm. That person don't trust you, cancer. They don't trust you because you left them out in the cold. You left them all in the long. This is someone that been enlightened about this. Or you had a relationship there, a relationship on hold. And you had them to wait. So that you can balance things out with someone that you are committed to. That you were trying to hide from them. That you fall for a relationship with this person. Hmm, and because you receive an unexpected message from someone that sees the future with you. So this person think you did them wrong, Cancers. This person feel to think that you have done them wrong. Spirit, huh? spirit. What, do you, what advice do you have for Cancers? This is someone that... What, mm, they want that to change. Okay. They want that to change. They want that to change before they do anything with you. <laughs> Spirit, what are your advice for cancers? What are your advice that you have for cancers right now? What advice do you have for cancer? What advice do you have for cancer concerning this other person? What advice do you have for cancer? Do not show this person any emotions. Because this person would ghost you. Because of this Queen of Pentacles. Woo! Do not show this person any emotion. Could be a Scorpio and Libra. If you show this person how much you care about them, Spirit said that person will ghost you because of this Queen of Pentacles. Tell me more about this King of Cups. This is 
one could have had a business. They don't have this business no more. This person, ego, somebody ego. You 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 mess around. You 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 bust their bubble. You mess up their ego, uh, Cancer. So you mess up this person's ego because you did not have a reunion with them. And the person on the luck is on your side. You bust this person bubble. You bust, you mess that person ego up because you didn't have no reunion with them. Spirit said, try to show this person no emotion. Don't show the person how much you really care about them. If you do, this person will ghost you because of this queen of pentacles. Spirit said. Mm. Spirit, what advice do you have? Do you have any more advice for cancers? Spirit said, that person can be in the family already. And you need to protect yourself from this person. Because they see this person as they wish fulfillment. They see this person as a twin flame. You would have you've been in a lot of drama with this person. You would, you would have to have a lot of dealing with this person would be a lot of drama, Spirit said. This is someone that really need to speak the truth to you about someone that they are in conflict with. That they want to move to come awards with this person. Spirit said this person is very deceitful. This person will break your heart. And you should have enough of this person, Spirit said. And Spirit said you need to move forward. Whatever you've been trying to manifest is going to come true. Spirit said move, move forward. Whatever you've been trying to manifest into your life, you're about to get your wish. You're about to be happy. People are going to see you as someone very, very attractive. Hmm. The Spirit said you got, some of you guys need to take a break. You need to take a break. You need, you need to take a break from this person because this person is still going to be hiding things. And Spirit said you need to protect yourself. The Spirit said that is someone new coming into your life. The Spirit said there is someone coming into your life. I said it could be a new Capricorn. A new Capricorn. Somebody's in this energy. Things gonna happen fast between you two. This is the one gonna want to take things to the next level with you. And this is gonna help. This is gonna help you, Cancer. This person's not gonna get this ex, not gonna get this victory with you. Because this person will get their karma. And this person will be stressed out, not sleeping at nighttime. This is the one very toxic spirit said. This person could have a lot of options. This person could also be married. And this person would break from you. And this person would cut you out of their life. Thanks, Spirit. <sighs> mm, be careful, Cancer. This is for some of you guys. This person is up to no good. If you're new to my channel, hey, hit the like button. Hit that notification button. You will know when I'm on. You'll be dealing with all signs here. If you need a personal read for me, all the information is down below in the description box. <laughs> Until next time.